So the total miles that's developed now is 3.2, is that what you said? Well, in Cheshire we have 2.9. 2.9. In Hamden there's 2.6. So there's five and a half miles altogether. And then the piece that's being abandoned from Cheshire up in, into and through Southington is, is like eight and a half miles. Ah. It's, a, it's a long stretch. There have already been uh, the, the ice tea funds that I referred to earlier. Some of those funds have been put aside already to help with the purchase of that piece. And, uh, and then we would look to, to the same people or to the state to try to help us develop it and, and get the, uh, the funding to uh, construct the, the line. It is in the five-year capital plan that we put money in there to, uh, for the construction and purchase of the, of the uh, northern section. So we have planned for it in the future of the parks, and it would be, it's a couple years away probably, but it, it'll be well worth it once we get it. You know, there's a couple of ducks we missed over there sitting very quietly under those trees. You'll see them right to the right there. They're right here to the right. So oh, nice. There's no uh, placard or, or plaque or anything commemorating that an Eagle Scout did those benches? Actually, we're, we are uh, going to put some of the some plaques down around the Lot 12 for both the uh, Garden Club and the Eagle Scout oh, project. But they've been in now oh, almost two years. I, it's, it's about time we, we go back down and, uh, and refinish them all again and, and get them all uh, so we, they last. They're all pressure-treated lumber, but we need to get them refinished again. They take quite a beating with the weather out here. Just to the right here is where the uh, the brook moves away from the trail and it's back in there where the, the beavers had their dam set up uh, last year. I've been out there to check it this year. It went back and some water up and had a family of beavers in there. And you can't just move the beavers. <laughs> no. What's this through here, Kev? You know? Sewer line. Sewer line runs through here in ah. east and west. Some people lap us on either on bikes or on rollerblades, and that's one of the things when you only have a short distance, three miles or even the five miles, you do get people who travel up and down it several times, so the traffic is in a compressed area. 
the longer you make the trails, the more you stretch that traffic out. We had the JCs uh, last year do a, a survey for us on a Sunday uh, Sunday afternoon and a Thursday evening, and they, it was interesting to find the results of who the, who the people were, where they were from. Uh, more than half of the people were from outside of Cheshire. Uh, the largest user group was rollerbladers, uh, virtually tied with walkers, and and, uh, and then there was a smaller group of, of uh, bikers and joggers. But the uh, the biggest group was rollerbladers. And, uh, the sport is here to stay, so these these things in the future need to be designed with rollerbladers in mind. Maybe make them a little wider. Mm -hmm. I think we've had calls from people asking for everybody to be banned at one time or the other. People <laughs> with dogs uh, should be banned. Uh, banned bicycles at certain times. Banned rollerblades. So people have suggested uh, just about every group being banned here, except uh, the walkers and joggers. For the most part, everybody's learned to share and live together. We do get some accidents, some incidents, but... How you doing? I had read that Yale doesn't want to let this continue through their section. Uh, would that be a problem for that uh, pathway going from Boston to uh, Washington? Well, if if that, I'm sure that some alternate alternate route would be found to to take them through uh, New Haven. In some places, you do have to go on city streets to mm -hmm. connect up uh, one trail to the next. Uh, hopefully, they'll work out some compromise with Yale. Uh, this this linear park that goes into Hamden goes right through where behind where the uh, the old Sears used to be in Hamden uh, right behind all those uh, businesses along Bixwell Avenue uh, right into New Hallville through Science Park and uh, into Yale and then cuts down towards the uh, the shore so the the old canal line does go right through uh, the heart of, of some tough areas of the city mm -hmm. there is uh, some consideration of, of having the trail uh, divert at some point in Hamden and follow the water company property and maybe cut through uh, East Rock somewhere and, and I don't know how it will connect up from there but so there are some people are looking at alternatives to, to try to get through through uh, the cities and it's not a short process it's a long process these trails are uh, the railroad could be abandoned and, and it could be 10 or 15 years before real trails are in and people just use them in a rough fashion or unauthorized, they'll just use them until enough uh, of people get excited about it or they get organized well enough and get some funding behind them to, to get it purchased and get it organized. So it's, it, it, some areas it moves very quickly and other areas it's a very long process. I could see that piece running through New Haven uh, taking a long time. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like it from what I read. Coming up on the final uh, wooden bridge, and uh, and then we're at the end uh, with Cornwall, the end of the improved piece, and then from there north, it's it's uh, just the old rough. Either the rails are gone or the uh, rails are there, and it's it's an unused right now uh, railroad heading up into Southern. One of our biggest problems will be, and I know the state DOT will have to get involved with this, how to cross West Main Street, and that's one of the crucial uh, dilemmas that's going to face that northern piece.
and then after that, it's pretty. It's a pretty clear sail right through. Yeah. This intersection works out very well because there are stop signs on Cornwall, very close to. It's not right at the trail, but just, just I guess east of the trail, uh, there are stop signs to stop the traffic. So we, it actually works out very well. Uh, it, unfortunately, we don't have stop signs at the other intersections, and uh, we're still working on that to see what we can do. I've been on the trail in Rhode Island and. Without stop signs, uh, the, the traffic does automatically stop when they see somebody on the trail. And it's just something that's built up over the years. I think it's become the etiquette in the towns around uh, Barrington and Riverside, where the East Bay bike path goes through, that people automatically stop to let the people on the trails go through. And we have the reverse here, where we, we force the people to stop on the lines and the traffic flows through. How you doing? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Had very little vandalism out here. Uh, very little litter. We do get some people that are irresponsible with their animals, but in, for the most part, that group is very good, and it's, a lot of those people will clean up after other people who, who don't uh, follow up. So we we've had an excellent user uh, user group, and very happy with uh, see a turtle on, down there under the water. It's really nice. Very happy with the trail so far. People have been great out there with it. So we're, now you can see the parking lot and some people uh, on the northern end gets a little bit busier because it's where the start is. You're going to reverse all the way? No. We are about to see play. magic. I want to see this. I've always dreamt about this with my car. So it's pretty exciting. We're looking for another oh, this is, this five or six is, miles in town, it, and then and then all the way up through Southington. So you'll be able to ride. If I had money, I'd pay for it myself. I tell you. <laughs> Good. Well, we, you're on film and saying I, that. So yeah, can, you be, can you be on tape? <laughs> <laughs> the other thing I've often thought is um, a lot of the rollerbladers. You know, we can't. It's very hard to uh, skate on the sand. I've really. Just, I don't come from Cheshire. I've really thought of having a um, inline skate day <laughs> and have everybody come out here with brooms. Because you really have to get yeah. the rocks off, and I don't know how often the towns do it. We do, we do it uh, every once in a while. We get community service; somebody has to do some hours for us. Well, and we have them come down here and, and know, brush it off. So. Do that and Cheshire, they brush the intersections. Just so. um, tell because there's so many of us out there. I mean, I'm sure if we all took a section, it would take you know. One of a our half thoughts hour. is we may we may do away with this and pave it and make it 12 feet wide, which ah. is a lot of the. the the thinking is with the rollerbladers especially, yeah. is that the, the wider you yeah, make the things. Yeah, because you can't, the problem is people who don't skate, uh, the walkers and the bikers, don't realize that skaters can't go on that. If you're going at a clip, and I don't mean really right. fast, but at any clip, you can't get on too right. Because right. people don't know, and they don't move. They just stand there thinking, you know, go ahead, you go on the sand and I'll keep walking. It's like, oh no! I mean, well. Yeah. So it's always tough with diverse groups on the same well, path, but we're... still, though, it's, uh, I, I don't, you know, I'll never yeah. complain about this place ever, ever, so Where ever. are you from? Uh, Wallingford. Oh, yeah? You see, we have, I keep wanting to go to our mayor, Bill, and say, listen, we need something in Wallingford like this. Good. Well, maybe he'll just chip in on the next uh, development instead of building one in his own town, right? Hey, yeah, 
that maybe that maybe we'll have to see how many people from Maui could use this. That's an idea. Yeah. I know there's a lot. We get a lot of non non Cheshire oh, people. Sure out. More than do. half of our people are non resident You know, I mean, at my age, when people hear I rollerblade, I mean, it's like, where do you do this? Yeah. I have so many people using this now. Good. Um, being 25. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All, the way, down All the way down is five and a half miles. Yeah, to the end of the Ham from here to the end of the Hamden piece, five and a half. Mm. No, I just wrote it. I was just wondering. Yeah, that's a heck of a vehicle there you got. So, what do you call that? George. It's a fold bike for camping. Folding up? Is that yeah. that's the takes a little bit longer, a little harder to work it because yeah. you don't get the yeah. It doesn't ride quite as good as a regular bike, yeah. but it's convenient because it's Perfect for this though. Yeah. The speed limit's 10 miles an hour out here, so yeah. you, know, you probably stick to the speed limit. That's right. Yeah. Where well, are you from? Waterbury. Yeah. yeah. That looks like the end of the road. Okay, Ron. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. And uh, maybe we'll walk that piece as it's unimproved from here north, and then definitely uh, someday we'll be riding it in the truck again, filming that northern piece for me. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. Yep. We'll fade out on the route. Hi, my name is Kyle Woodkey. Um, Linear Park is a fun, safe place because I've been doing it for, I've been coming here for about a year or two. Um, it's good exercise if you want a rollerblade bike or something like that. Meet any folks here? Uh, every once in a while I meet some threat people. No skating parties? Nah, none of those. Just good outdoor fun. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot. You're welcome.
Maggie Lunchick and um, I've been here three or four times. Um, I just skated the entire length of the park which I think is about five and a half miles each way. Um, last time I was here and it was a great feeling. It's a wonderful place. Um, I work with inner city kids and I've taken them here. Um, a group of kids that had gone skating for the very first time and um, they thought they were going to an indoor rink but I took them out here and they thought wow, we're outside and we're skating, this is a great thing. And uh, there's a place right around the corner that you can rent skates from. And, huh. uh, so anyone can come and uh, it's free and it's beautiful and I hope it stays this way. That's it. Good thought. How about this other person hiding over here? Oh no. You want to say nothing? Um, well, I've been here a couple of times. I love it. It's beautiful. Who are you? I'm Cynthia Barbosa from New Haven. And uh, I, hope they, I hope they extend it to New Haven. I don't know why they're not. Um, but it's beautiful, and it's a beautiful day. And I'll be back probably tomorrow morning. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. See, I'm in. This is the first time I've been here this year, but I've gone last summer. And I think it's nice. It's peaceful. and. It's fun. My name is Pam Backus. I like coming here with my friends. It's like a fun, easy thing to do, rollerblading. So, um, my name is Rachel Belnick. I, this is the first time I've ever been here. These guys brought me. I love it. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> I love rollerblading. My name's Lisa Marinelli. <laughs> um, I just come here with my friends for good exercise, and it's just about it. I just really love it. It's really fun. It's good exercise. <laughs> Meet any good chipmunks? No, <laughs> not today. Yeah. All right. No. Thank you. Let me look at these wonderful rollerblades here. Oh, yeah. Mm, excellent stuff. Thank goodness I took mine off. <laughs> yeah, but you're not downwind of you. No. Oh, gosh, I'm so tired. Uh, thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. With ties. Guys with ties. Original physical fitness All right. outfit of Connecticut. It's just a home video. This is to be shown in Washington, D.C. They want to extol the virtues of the linear park in Cheshire. Really? How do you like it? Oh, I love it. I love the bike path. I just moved here to Cheshire a few days ago, and bike path, I've been here a couple times already. It's really nice. They plan on building one out there. They're, they're trying to promote this in different parts of the country. So I guess Cheshire's is kind of a, an, a wonderful example of how good it can be. Kind of the model? Yep. Yeah. We're, we're both from out west. I don't have anything like this out there. It'd be nice to get something like that out there. Excellent. So. Your comments, sir. I love it. I think it's it's great. It's so beautiful out here. It's just some way that I just enjoy to come out and relax. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's kind of hidden. No, you don't see any houses or anything like that. That's the nice part about it. Yeah. Biking through the woods. Biking through the woods and shirt and ties. All right. A little thanks. overdressed, but <laughs> thanks a lot. I like it. Hi, my name is Dick. My wife Maggie and I have come here for three times this week. Last year we had the bike out twice, I think, all year long, and we've been here three times so far this week. I think that says a lot for the, uh, the attraction of the park. We certainly appreciate being able to come here. Thank you. Excellent. And that is one heck of a bike.
want to be on a tape? Oh, come on. I won't blow your copper. I find people on the path. That's right, you find officers. I find them unconscious. Find people on the ground. We're doing a tape for the town of Cheshire. We're taping for the town of Cheshire. They want to show this tape in Washington. And since you are part of the people group that makes sure it's safe, it would be good to have you on saying that. Well, I'm tired, but it's safe. <laughs> and you're Officer who? Officer Jim Nemphos. And how is it on this wonderful linear park? Very good, very good. It's, it's a real nice ride for anybody on bikes or rollerblades or just walking. It's, it's very enjoyable. A lot of people use it. As you can see, it's very well traveled. Of course. And you get to get exercise for free. Yeah, it's a nice way to work off the donuts. Uh, oh, the, I wasn't going to mention the donuts. Well, I figured I might as well beat you to the punch or beat somebody to the punch. Yeah, it's been very nice. On a day like today, you can't complain. Right? Right. Right. And speaking of not complaining, who's this person? Hi, I'm Pat Richards. I'm a town resident, and I've used the park since it's opened. I walk every day, sometimes twice a day. Sometimes I think it's a little bit too compulsive, but I love it. I love to hear the birds singing at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I just love coming down here. We ride bikes, we rollerblade. Oh, we don't rollerblade though. We pick up people that have gotten hurt rollerblading. Oh. Since I'm a nurse and I occasionally come upon people. Um, but I run sometimes, mostly walk, because I really like to spend the time and hear what's going on. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh. To my behind. <laughs> 